All right, ladies and dudes, it's Jeremy here. One of your very favorite people with Parkinson's here to talk to you about my DBS, Deep Brain Stimulation Consultation. There's a mouthful for you. Which happened yesterday. DBS is, I think it used to be considered more a last resort option. Now they're doing it earlier, from what I understand, for people with Parkinson's. To increase the quality of life. I will say I've had Parkinson's for almost 11 years right now. My medicine has been, the side effects are almost outweighing any, any benefit I get at this point, although it makes me very alert and think quicker and makes me feel better mentally and gives me some level of functionality. I mean, I can move faster. The side effects, the, the uncontrollable movements called dyskinesia have gotten really, really bad to the point where uh, it's rare that I, I can walk across the room without leaning on things. Staggering. So DBS was presented to me by my movement disorder specialist as, I don't want to say one of the last options, but I'm kind of running out of them at this point. So, by the way, here's, here's our album for the day, Ride the Lightning. I thought this was appropriate. Bzzz. My favorite Metallica album. So I'm kind of up against it with the DBS. Now, I don't have to do it. This consultation was basically to decide if I was a good candidate. Now, a lot of it depends on your health, your age, and how you respond to the medication. Are you still getting a response, any kind of good response from the, what, what we call the Cinemet, Cinemet or Levodopa, L-Dopa is what, what it's also called. This is the medication that's basically replenishing the dopamine in our brains. Well, my age is good, my health is good, other than Parkinson's, I mean, which sucks, I'm in really, I mean, I'm not Arnold or anything, but I'm in good shape, I'm at a healthy weight, my blood pressure, pretty, pretty average. I exercise a lot as much as I can, I'm trying to stay mentally fit, and then I also, even though I do have a lot of side effects, I'm very sensitive to the Cinemet medicine, so which is good. So basically, I'm looking for a solution to all the dyskinesia, the inability to stop moving or not even, it's weird. It's like I'll tell my leg to move one way and it goes a completely other direction. It's just bizarre. So the good news is I am a candidate. All right, now, what does that mean? That means a lot of thinking. I have my next appointment in five months. Got a lot to think about. It would be three different surgeries, one to plant the lead on my right, one to plant the lead on my left, and one to put the battery pack in my chest. Sometimes they do it all at once. I'm told this time they'll be doing it in three different things, which I guess that it would be shorter surgeries, but over a longer period of time. Now, you notice you just don't go in and get this. I would I have to go through a psych screening, which <laughs> so if I pass. I'd have to have a CAT scan, an MRI, and then have to meet with the surgeon for, so they could figure out where they're going to target what part of my brain they're going to target for the treatment. I've got a lot to think about. I've got so much of my life left to live. I'm 47. I mean, I could... I mean, I hope to live to be 75 or whatever. Um, I've got a lot of life left to live. Now, if I can dramatically improve the quality of my life, I'm interested. Um, they can't guarantee anything, but if I were to talk to the surgeon and... I don't know. I got a lot to think about, basically. I mean, I told my doctor, I've got to have a pretty dramatic improvement. I can't just have like these incremental improvements with, for, with brain surgery. I really got to know it's going to work. Or not know it's going to work, but have a very good feeling or very good statistical odds of like helping at least address the problem. I would say about at least 50%. So I got a lot to think about over the next few months. I got to consider my family. I got to consider my own, what I, what I want out of life. Because here's the weird thing, folks. When I'm on and I'm feeling good, I can sit in my chair for hours and talk to my friends and I have very little side effects because I'm just sitting. The side effects seem to basically happen when I try to get up and move. And I told my doctor that. And she was understanding. She was like, well, we'll talk again in five months and then we'll go from there. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, it's not a big dramatic... I'm going to be cured. It, would, it wouldn't stop the disease. It would only just treat the symptoms, but it could significant, significantly give me a longer window of time where I could be functional, 
drive longer, hopefully walk more, be more functional, go out places. I go to restaurants. I never go to restaurants. I just, it's too hard to get in and out. It's just, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Thanks for all the messages and uh, the uh, support. I really love it. I, I love it. It means a lot to me. I would say 50% of the reason I do this channel is me, but another the other half is you guys. I met some fantastic people through in this community. And every every note you you send my way does get read. And I try to respond to everything I get. Also, look me up on Facebook. The link will be in dis in the description as well as Instagram. Subscribe and like. See you next week. Peace and love from the city of St. Louis.